What is this? I actually want to. I want to see how this video turned out. Let's watch it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah. You guys know Star Forge, by the way? Guys, I am five shards away. Five? Five shards away from Valinir. Wow. Is that. Wait, what I had dandruff in my hair and no one told me? All right, well, yeah. I had dandruff so, in my hair! Five shards away. No one told me, man. Oh my god. Why, dude? Why does no one tell me? I can just you can just knock it out like it goes on the floor, man. Bro. Five. Five shards away from Valinir. Wow. Well, you know what? Like now, since it's got the increased item level, it's gonna be best. Is it like, really? Well, yeah, because like that was two fifty-eight. Like now, like it's gonna be best for like the entire. I I cannot wait. That's bad. Are you doing? Yeah. Wrath of the Lich King is stupid. Gentlemen, welcome. Oh. I understand oh, you're here hi. for the tour. Yes, we are. Welcome to Starforge System. This is Elliot. This is Starforge, right by the way, guys. You want to see what it looks Hello. like. So anyway, we're over here at Starforge Systems, and we would like to uh, kind of give you guys a tour, let you know everything that's happened. Obviously, it's been a long time since launch. A lot of things have changed, especially our office, and we'd like to take you around and just give you a tour of how the PCs are at. I remember the day it launched. That was... Quite the day. Actually made. This was uh, the first time I was here. I think this was a sheet of paper. Amazing how things have changed. So let's go. Yeah. It's a hammer, by the way. It is a hammer. This is clearly supposed to be a talking ball. It's a hammer. Here at Starforge, we are committed to building the best PCs in the universe. Oh, well, it's on the wall, so you don't it's, forget. It's on the wall, That's so we good. don't forget. And these are the PCs right here. Yeah. So here you we'll can see that. completed units, uh, all from uh, the production of uh, today, today's production line. Wow. Oh, my God. That's this, a, this is all from today, you said. This could be one of your computers, guys. Press 1 in chat if you bought one of these. Good portion of today's production. Probably keep the drink away from that. So how long does it take to like just build one? Is this, I guess, kind of how the, the process begins? Well, so the process yeah. is actually in two parts. Okay. Um, we have a no. line of uh, preppers who get everything situated, make sure that the, the system has, uh, you know, the RAM is uh, spinning up to full speed and not having any post issues, uh, and get everything together to be integrated in one final system. So uh, preps and builds. Is that a Vaporeon? Well, I, you, you know, it's funny because everybody always thinks that uh, you don't want water near your PC, but a, a, a huge number of our PCs are actually water cooled. Oh, that's the reason. Okay, all right, that makes a lot more sense. Every time I'm just gonna keep it plain. Every time I see Vaporeon, I think about sex because everyone because everyone keeps saying that Vaporeon is the most like breedable Pokemon. Right? Isn't that what they say? Yo, chill, guys, chill. That's what they say, dude. Chill, dude. <clears throat> what is it? Oh, compatible. Chill, guys. Relax. What'd they say? They said it. They said it. They said it. What'd they say? Who said it? They said it. They said it. They said it. But uh, but it's right though, right? Right? I don't agree with it. I I don't find vapor unattractive. Personally, I'm more of like a uh, I. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so you'll yeah. see a line of, of folks here that are getting everything ready to be uh, prepped. And this just, uh, you know, if splitting it in half like this yeah. uh, makes everything just run a little bit faster, run a little bit smoother. And that's okay. how we get so many PCs built in a day. So this is like how everything actually gets like tested in the final stage here. Uh, like all the lights on and everything. Tested. This is where oh. this is the first step of QC. You know, everything is mm. uh, checked to make sure that it's uh, built to, to snuff. It'll go through. Our, uh, our build leads um, and uh, that everything's configured right, and then it'll go into testing later. Yeah. This room, by the way, guys, was hot as dicks. Okay, so what's going on all in here? So here's our testing room. Uh, as you can see, we've lined the walls with lots of PCs, um, all of which are uh, getting tested for, um, uh, you know, 
making sure everything's performing mm -hmm. thermally, making yeah. sure that everything's uh, spinning up to clock speeds. They'll be given scores that are uh, given a grade to see if it's, you know. You guys think this is, we're, we're, just, we're just mining uh, Bitcoins? Or a yeah. 40, 90, a 40, 70 Ti. Is this what is expected for that unit? Mm -hmm. If so. But like, if you're mining Bitcoins, oh, don't you only level, need the GPU uh, though? It, you don't need the rest of it, so why would you put it into the case? It definitely feels like there's 50 computers in this room. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, we, I walked in here to <coughs> wall of heat. The, the temperature in here when everything's under load can get into Guys, the I need to lose about 40 pounds, huh? Man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to, like, test it to, uh, to like, just... To make it look like it's somebody's room, make it feel like it's somebody's room. Bro, More someone said really 80, high. bro. Yeah. So 80 most pounds. Aren't 90 degrees, well, yeah. You want me to lose 80 pounds? You want me to be. Hundred and forty pounds. What do you mean two you wait? You want me to be two hundred. But you want me to lose eighty pounds? Do you think I'm two hundred do you think I'm two hundred and eighty pounds? Chat, chat, chat. Do you really think I'm 280 pounds? That is unbelievable. Wow. Wow, dude. Yeah, my attic is. <laughs> so, so how many PCs? How many PCs can get tested at once? In here, 96. Oh my. 96 PCs. Can I can get see why I have to get up to 90. Yeah. Yeah. God, so what's this guy? Why, why is there a... Why is that guy different? Why is, why is there a white one? Oh, 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 oh. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> so uh, Ethan here is... One white one slipped through the cracks. Uh, how it's all becoming automated and how PCs are scored for finalization. Who's getting the white one? So everything gets handled by software called MDT, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. Okay. Essentially what it does is it's... It's a utility that allows us to install an operating system to every system in here over the network. It automatically installs the OS. Extremely got a white one? Our customizations, background, Chrome. So this is what controls what's actually testing. Okay, so each of these... Oh, Why these does everyone always get better stuff than me, yep, guys? I get it. Okay. You know what it is? Once the installation... It's because you guys are European and you guys can't buy Starforge PCs, so I'm less, I'm less valuable to them. So... If you guys could just buy, if you guys just lived in America and bought these PCs and what do you mean good? So you, do you guys want me to be less valuable because you guys are European? And you're like, what do you mean good? Like, it's not a good thing. You know, I built my own. Yeah, hopefully it fucking breaks, jackass. All right, let's go. <laughs> Finishes, it automatically gets picked up by this software here. It starts our standardized test list. Uh, I'm just, just kidding. Takes care of things from there. And how long does that whole thing take? The actual tests take take around seven hours at the moment. Okay. That's also a work in progress. You know what's funny? He's not even yeah, using a Starforge PC. Somewhere around the five to six hour mark. What type of computer okay. is that? So this is you know, each individual PC. You'd think he'd be using the one. The it ran, the scores, whether or not mm -hmm. it passed or failed. It, it's a lot of information to look at. Oh, wow. Okay. It's As, a Windows uh, XP said, computer. Yeah, we, uh, we, we check every single one of these for those, and then before they... Wait, do people still use Windows website, XP? Maybe it's better for like business so stuff. They all gotta be orange. Yeah. It's like this is actually. Because I upgraded the Windows 11 and it has been yeah. sucking okay, balls. Here we go. So this is actually showing. I use this test all the time on my computers. frames per second. Holy shit! And so, so what I would do is I would I would overclock my PCs back in the day, and I would use this test and see if I could make it blue screen or not. So it just kind of runs this. It always blue screened. Yeah, yeah. It'll run it through a few yeah. loops to get a. a uh, um, you know, a standardized score, so you're not just uh -huh. getting one really good run. Um, and then as uh, silicon heats up, uh, you might see those frame rates drop a little bit. Um, I see that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't I want this in my house. Um, but you don't want you don't want to see the PC um, <laughs> you know, run really good for ten minutes and yeah. then completely get bogged down. And how can that happen? Um, it can happen if uh, like there's something that's getting uh, like thermal throttled. So yeah. clock speeds will naturally start to to come down if the hardware recognizes. You know what's that actually crazy, by the way. You know what's crazy, and people don't seem to understand this. Like, people are always complaining about like, government listening and government watching and this and that. I am not kidding you, chat. The second I go home, I have a an advertisement to buy. 
this little thing. And the thing is, I never said it. I never mentioned its name. I never said what it was. I never even mentioned it verbally. I never even seen this thing before. This was the first time I seen this thing. It's like an HDMI blocker or something. And I had an advertisement for it when I got home. And I'm like, wait a minute. How is that possible? How does it know? I didn't mention it. You want to know what happened? I probably had my phone out and it's watching. It saw it. It saw it with the camera and it fucking put it in the algorithm. I'm going to I'm telling you this is crazy, dude. I did not google it. I don't I don't even know what the name of that thing is. What's the name of it? I'm telling you, bro. They're already watching, bro. They already are. It was it was Amazon too. It was an Amazon. Yeah. Wait, what S fan say? S fan said fuck. What do you say? Fuck. S fan, what'd you say? Fuck. S fan, what'd you say? I got an ad from this and erectile dysfunction pills when I got home. Fuck. Hot. Um, that could be anything from uh, a poorly performing cooler. Apparently, that's actually a big a big deal here in America. Uh, uh, an incorrectly set up fan curve. Yeah. Um, anything like that, and this is all designed to catch those. Uh, okay. Before a PC goes out. And that's crazy to see that high of a frame rate because I was just playing Diablo 4 and mine was lower a lot. So yeah, this is like this how everything was put together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you'll see that. Um, you know, oh, this is the box that I got. Look at that. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. And that's where it came from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. And uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, one size, uh, not fits all, but one size of, of expanding foam for all of our systems. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's. A yeah, isn't it crazy to see all the people that work in like Star Forged uh, and? But that's how everything will get packed. You know, like how there's always people that you know. We'll get this last foam to make sure work for. Those, uh, essentially don't slide around yeah so isn't that cool like we're kind of doing it man here uh, you know you know they're giving it a well, we're not doing it but clear. be sure to remove these before you know what i'm trying to say they're doing it sign. yeah i think it's cool um, and uh we even have uh, accountability stickers for the packing that okay. way um you know when uh when a system is uh and this, this company does pretty well. The computers like, no, are good, man. Exactly like this. I got two of them up here right now. You know, right. Maybe, maybe that Never had any problems sure. with them. Yeah, yeah. To figure out exactly where in the chain of events things happen. Exactly. That's not true. Exactly. We, have, uh, we have build stickers inside for the builders as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Every PC right now is going out with, uh, with that coupon code. Oh, boy. Yeah. There yeah. you go. All right. Well, um, that sounds good. All right. So yeah, it gets yeah. packed there, and then yeah, packed there, and then uh, shipped out through uh, through those bay doors. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have uh, one final check uh, to make sure that uh, you know the PC has been properly serialized. Yep. Uh, that uh, we may have one final check to make sure that the PC has been properly serialized. Yeah. Um, Why do you guys what face? That, uh, everything matches up as far as like let's let's not have this here. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously we can't we can't show that process because it's got yeah. customer data, customer addresses. But essentially, uh, once the system is approved to go out, uh, we can uh, sign off on it, get things boxed up and sealed, and then uh, delivered with. Uh, with I got a problem with taking stuff. Yeah. So uh, when's it going to you? Everybody, um, everybody just spams me asking this, and it's like I feel like we have to address it. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where we, we don't want to do it uh, right away and do it wrong. We want to yeah. do it right the first time. Okay. So we're still working on that. We, we've got uh, a number of people who are reaching out through the customer service portal yeah. asking about uh, EU. But the most important thing for us is having not only the ability to service locally so that you don't have to put your PC on a plane every time, Yeah. Um, but also that there's, you know, customer service representatives available. Uh -huh. There you go, EU. And at special languages. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, not everybody speaks English, and being able to uh, to communicate with the customers and make sure that they know that we're guys. Once these come to EU, are you guys gonna buy one? Yeah, it makes the most sense. Yeah. So there you go, guys. It's gonna be soon. All right. Close soon, enough. Soon. All right. TM. Yeah. Of course. TM. Why are you guys saying no, bro? Um, 
this is Terabuck, you fucking recycling. live in the United States. What? Um, we, you'll see that there's a lot of um, PC components that we get in retail packaging. That's because we uh, have always used um, retail grade products. Yeah. <laughs> Someone um, goes, they can't than, afford um, one. Yeah, one offs that are built a certain way, um, you know, to uh, cut corners and, and meet a, a bottom line. Um, all of these are, are parts that somebody could get off the shelf because they're, ex- you know, exactly that retail grade. So it's not like the power supply that's like seven. I want. Is it technically yeah, stealing yeah, from this company? Yeah, and we, we don't yeah. want to do that. We also want these to be. If it's kind of like our company. If somebody is, you know, five six years down the line still using but wants to upgrade, yeah, it's standardized and can be upgraded. Okay. Um, oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I had this problem. I, I bought a PC from like Sam's Club ten years ago, mm-hmm. and they actually had things over the RAM slots to prevent you from upgrading it. No. It was we, like, why were you doing this? What is the point of this? Who is this helping? You're asking all the right questions. It's called yeah, embezzlement. Exactly. Um, basically, so I guess this what is, is where that? a lot of the old stuff is right here. And uh, what's what's going on over here? You got the uh, bands, I guess. Yeah. This is where the different components are. Exactly. Is right? okay. This is this is where we we, we found the graphics our, cards. Yeah. Majority of our components, um, yeah. as they uh, come through our dock over here, mm-hmm. um, you know, we, we track to make sure that everything is taken in properly. Yeah. Uh, and that's where uh, our serialization process starts. Uh, so we uh, we keep track of serial numbers so that when a customer has an issue, uh, we know exactly uh, where we got the part from, yeah. uh, when we got that part, and um, you know if there are any you know similar issues to parts you know in in the same run, for instance. For like quality control. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so that just kind of makes. Whose card was that, by the way? Was, was that one awesome. of yours, guys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. All yeah. that works. And these are, I guess, some of the PCs right here, aren't they? Yeah, this looks like it's a whole bunch of motherboards. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, yeah. wow. This is a whole box of motherboards? Yep, each of these uh, should be uh, five motherboards in total. Here's where we keep most of our packing materials. Yep. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you've got everything, uh, mm-hmm. you know, ship shape and uh, um, ev- enough of, of the stuff to keep the PCs safe. Oh, yeah. So we keep them over here. And uh, got a bunch more of these here. These yep. are the uh, level five. Mm-hmm. And, and what, what are these for? So this is this is a pick list. So yeah. anytime that there's a uh, production job with however many uh, products that we need to build, you know, five Voyager Creator Elites, yeah. uh, three Horizon 2 Prime PCs, um, there's a, a reminder of what needs to be pulled for each of those, and then they're all staged here. Okay, so this uh, we is stole like, the bubble wrap. All of this stuff. It's like imagine you went to Fry's and you got everything together. This would be in your shopping cart. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Everything that need, they need uh, gets put onto a cart and then brought over by one of the preppers that we saw earlier. Okay, and then it's kind of like yeah, then it goes back into that first first room that we saw, mm-hmm. and then this is just a bunch more of them here. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, here we have a small little sort of staff break area. Okay. Um, you know, we have we've got a couple different places, but this is just one where. What a nice you know, cozy place, huh, Chad? This is also for birthdays and other events where yeah. we'll stage. Uh, nice and cozy and place to work, huh? Okay. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Pretty cool. Okay. And this is the, uh, I guess this is the Can you hire me? Yeah. I have no control there. over yeah. this place. Yeah. Holy, holy shit. So. We, uh, <clears throat> we, we, uh, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even hire me. And uh, make sure that everybody's well fed and uh, mm-hmm. taken care of. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's pretty much this. This whole place <laughs> looks like uh, right here. Me and S man, we're just fucking around. Blazer, laser tag, you know, right before. Look at this hallway, though. Pretty cool, huh, Chet? Oh yeah, absolutely. This is. Oh, uh, man. Uh, this is the, the sort of the command center. Okay. Uh, you know, the, a line of offices for uh, the senior staff. Um, yep. And then a, a break room down at the end of the hall where, okay. uh, you know, we do have a few, uh, a few games. This is not a strip club. Do you think this is a strip club? Show out and mm-hmm. enjoy themselves. Was well, this what they're doing now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're uh, they're pretty regularly oh, uh, in here during their breaks. I like the door panel here. It's nice. I got a hundred on wool, bro. I got a hundred on wool, bro. I got a hundred on wool, bro. So 
this just how things are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These okay. guys, no, we yeah. we don't no! normally we don't we don't yeah. normally have like gambling or anything like that going on during the breaks. Why not? But, um, I, I, it's ethical reasons and, oh, and like professionalism. Uh, no, no, no. Give me fifteen please, on please, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. So that sounds interesting. And this oh, is just kind of, oh, you got a Nintendo 64 even. I got a hairline of a Nintendo 64 these are, these controller. Are two of the, like, uh, longest standing builders on the team. Uh -huh. So this is this is a grudge match uh, months in the making. Yep. Yeah. We need my money, bro. Come on, Brandon. 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 I got my dinner on this one. Don't boost this for me, Blue. Come on, come on, come on, come on Bring it back. No! There's bro, nothing what is wrong I with your job, bro. bro. Man, no, no, <laughs> this is wrong. This is Get wrong. Get him out here. Get him Why out. Why don't you have other like ones? See, See I told you I would win. What is happening? Let's go. Let's go. We, we only Wait. hire winners. Where did Terry go? That makes sense. Yeah, all right. That's right. Exactly, guys. Best PCs in the universe, not made by losers. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, anyway, guys, uh, back to the tour. Uh, we're over here at the army. He lost his and, uh, job. What was that about? So anytime something happens to a PC, whether it's in shipping or whether the component fails in the customer hands, uh, yeah. we want to get that PC back to have it uh, repaired. And uh, yeah, this is a long video. This is a good video though. Okay. See if you if you're super curious about like Starforge and how it works, like you know. Hey, what's uh, going? Yeah. So um, here's okay. All right. All right. Look. Uh, the thing is. If you go so, and you, all right, cool. Just uh, one I gotta get some work done. Okay, okay. Yeah, this. give me a give me it's a minute. It's not a fucking dick. It's just a hammer. It's like Thor's hammer upside down. It has nothing to do. It's not. Well, we're now we're back at the RMA room, and uh, this is the RMA room. And how does it work? Yeah, so um, we have a, a system come in. Um, presumably, we've already done a little bit of legwork, um, okay. and no kind of what's happening, but maybe not exactly what's causing the issue. Mm -hmm. um, and then the PC will be taken apart, inspected, tested. Um, anything that's found to be faulty will be uh, replaced or repaired, however uh, that might need to take place. Mm -hmm. um, and then the parts are going to be sort of cycled out. So uh, anything that's bad will go on one of these shelves um, and, and uh, sent back to, uh, to um, factories for yeah. uh, replacement. Make sure everything fits together and works together just yep. the right way. Okay, How so often do computer like computer car, uh, parts actually like come broken? Uh, you know, these processors might struggle to uh, you know address memory. Because I've had a speed. fair bit um, of faulty power supplies. I'm not going to lie over the years. Or, uh, not be receiving 12 volt power, things like sure. that. Okay, yeah, like that a fair sense. bit. So somebody sends their PC back. There's a problem. The point where it actually it was up. getting quite annoying. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, well that's simple enough. And is there about anything else, or is that pretty much about it for the tour? Yeah, uh, I think that just about covers it. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll round everybody up and uh, we'll talk about it. Well, anyway, guys, uh, thanks a lot for sticking around and uh, also sticking with us. We had a very interesting launch, and ever since then, we've done a lot of work to improve not only the PCs, but also the process <laughs> and everything else in between. We wanted to take you on a journey and just show you how actually that works and how everything happens. So from everybody here at Starforge, we want to say thank you so much for your support. Uh, we're not uh, we're making plenty more PCs, doing plenty more stuff. We just launched our affiliate program, for example, <laughs> and there's a bunch of other stuff you can take a look at on our Twitter, Starforge Systems on Twitter, and of course, StarforgeSystems.com. So thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace. Uh, oh, Lord.